Have you ever completed a load calculation and it was just short of what you expected? Right soft users beware, let's talk about it. Welcome back, I'm Chris with HVAC Pro Blog. Today we're talking about if your software is working right and some of the settings you need to make sure you're checking on. Now, when you're first starting out with any tool, I know contractors can make mistakes. The more you use it, the more second nature it becomes and the easier it is. And the more you should be verifying that the calculations are correct when it comes to ACA Manual J version eight software. After all, we don't wanna to continue to learn the hard way, right? Now, in an effort to make sure some of this software is, I'd say ready to go out of the box, some of the companies have some default settings in there that you wanna make sure you take a look at. For instance, most have duct systems set for within the building envelope, giving you zero gains and zero losses. This is great if you're doing ductless systems, but if you actually have duct work and you don't go in and change these settings to what is really going on in the house, no wonders the system is a half a ton or a ton smaller than it needs to be up in that attic. Same goes for internal gains. They start out at zero, meaning zero people and zero appliances. When you're talking about heat gains in a house, this could be 15 to 20, 25% of the load. You're gonna have to go in and make those changes. And of course, the foreground for windows. It's a mix between crushed rock and grass, which is fine for most places, but what if you're on the water? What if you get a bunch of gains coming off that water for those windows facing south or west? It's gonna change the load for those rooms. You have to adjust these settings. Now, most users find these settings over time and make adjustments as they go, or they recreate the wheel on every home. I highly recommend having default settings for the majority of the buildings that you work on. You know, the typical colonial raised ranch, Cape style home up here in the Northeast. But I have to tell you, there's one setting that WriteSoft uses that no other software manufacturer has. It's called the rate swing multiplier. If you don't adjust this setting away from what the factory has, the factory meaning WriteSoft, you could be off by at least 11% in your load calculation. This setting, Rate Swing Multiplier, is a makeshift way to choose systems for equipment selection using AHRI information. This is not the way ACA Manual S describes that equipment should be selected. What most users don't realize is it actually reduces the sensible gains in your load calculation. If you were to use these numbers off your summary report without adjusting the Rate Swing Multiplier, then you could select a piece of equipment that's too small or design your airflow around a number that's too low for the lower sensible heat gains due to the decreased sensible gains. So here's a little more detail. If you don't change the sensible heat ratio that's factory set in WriteSoft from 0 0.70 to what it actually is in the house, then the rate swing multiplier will remain at 0.89, 89%. Instead of using that sensible heat ratio of 0 0.70, let's say the home had a 0.85 sensible heat ratio. Sensible heat ratio is calculated by dividing the sensible load of the building by the total load of the building. This change would raise your rate swing multiplier to 0.93. And now you can see how this would change the selection of the piece of equipment. So what I wanna tell you is there's great news. You can turn this feature, rate swing multiplier, off in WriteSoft. And from personal experience, you should. I'm gonna be honest here, if I was a building inspector, I would probably just fail any WriteSoft summary report that comes across that didn't have a rate swing multiplier of 1.0. So in order to make this change in WriteSoft, first thing you need to do is go up to options on the menu. Then uncheck adjust load for AHRI rating. It's as easy as that. And now you're not gonna shortchange yourself on those aggressive load calculations. Now, of course, this alone is probably not gonna change the size of the piece of equipment, but plus a lot of other minor adjustments or misses in your site survey, now we're talking about a system that's a half a ton or a ton too small. And that will create havoc with your system design. Thanks again for joining me this week at HVAC Pro Blog, where we provide advice for residential system design, quality installation, and system diagnosis. If you got value out of this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any going forward. 
See you next week.